Hello, everyone. My name is Fevin. Um, Fevin Gabramari, I'm student pharmacist, class of 2023. Today, we're going to be talking about Zimbacort. So before we go ahead and talk about it, these are some topics that we're going to be highlighting over today. Introduction, medication information, how to take this medication, how to store this medication. Um, so Simbicort is a combination product, a beta-2 agonist uh, with a long-acting corticosteroid. So the generic name for uh, Simbicort is budesonide formitrol. Budesonide, it, it comes in two form, um, budesonide 8, 80 microgram and 4.5 five microgram of formitrol, and it comes with budesonide 160 microgram and 4.5 microgram of formitrol. So as you see it in the blue, that's the 160, and as you see it in the green, it's the 80 microgram. So what is this medication used for? It's used to treat COPD. It used to treat asthma. This drug is not to be used to treat intense flares up or short of breath or to be replaced with your rescue inhaler. Take, talk to your doctor if any of the symptoms is happening. So what do I need to tell my doctor before I take this drug? If you have any allergy to budesonide, formitrol, or any, any other medications, please go ahead and contact your doctor. If you're allergic to this drug, any part of this drug, or any other drugs, foods, or substance, tell your doctor about the allergy and what signs you, um, you had. If you are using another drug like this one, go ahead and contact your doctor immediately. So what are some things I need to know or do while I take this drug? If you have a high blood sugar like diabetes, talk to your doctor. This may raise your blood sugar level a little bit. Um, and also it may take up to two weeks to see the full benefits, so be aware. Um, call your doctor right away if your breathing problems get worse, if your rescue inhaler does not work as well, or if you need to use your rescue inhaler more often. Do not take more more of this drug or use it more often than you have you've been told um, and also make sure you document when you start taking this medication as shown in the picture so how is this medication best taken um, a lot of people take it differently but i strictly recommend taking it this way so before you use it shake it well for five seconds and remove the mouthpiece cover by squeezing gently at both sides then pull out as seen here in the picture click the mouthpiece check the mouth the mouthpiece for foreign objects before we go ahead and put it in our mouth we're going to prime it first and see that nice mist coming out Breathe out fully, then place the mouthpiece into your mouth and close your lips around it. Make sure that inhaler is upright and that is opening of the mouthpiece is pointing towards the back of your throat. Inhale deeply and slowly while pressing down firmly on the top of the counter on the inhaler. Continue to breathe and hold your breath for about 10 seconds or for as long as you're comfortable. Before you breathe out, release your finger from the top of the counter. Keep the inhaler upright and remove it from your mouth. Um, if you have to take the second dose, um, do the same uh, process and then repeat step three and four. Um, so what to do after using Simbacort. So after you use um, the Simbacort, you make sure to rinse your mouth with water and spit out the water. Please do not swallow it, okay? What if, what if I missed a dose? Um, if you just missed a dose, skip the missed dose and go back to your normal time. Do not use two dose at a time or extra dose, okay? Where should I store my medication? So store it at a room temperature uh, and throw out any part not used for three months after taking it out out of the foil package, okay? Protect it from heat or open flame, store it in a dry place, store it in a mouthpiece facing down, and keep all drugs in a safe place. Keep all drugs out of reach of children and pets. Throw away unused or expired drugs. Do not flush down a toilet or pour down a drain unless you are told to do so. Check with your pharmacist if you have any question about how what is the best way to throw out your drugs. There are maybe drug take back programs in your area. So speak to your pharmacist, okay?
Um, remember, um, use your Simbacort twice daily or as directed, morning and evening. While taking Simbacort, never use another medicine that contains a long-acting beta agonist. Um, Simbacort is not and will not be replaced as a rescue inhaler for sudden symptoms. Contact your doctor if your asthma does not improve or gets worse. If you have any question about using your inhaler, contact your healthcare professional or your pharmacist. Um, if you are, if you drop your inhaler um, or didn't use it more than seven days, you can um, go ahead and replace it with a new one. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.